it's me again. I'm going to show you something that little people, few people, <laughs> little people don't necessarily know it or I don't know, I can't speak to the knowledge of little people. <laughs> However, um, few people know that you can actually take the guides to turn this bandsaw blade at a 45 degree angle. So, I'm saying that if you wanted to cut this board, said board, right here, you'd be able to run it through at a 45 degree angle. How we accomplish that is through these guide blocks. And these guide blocks, on one end, on one end it's, it's set up, okay, and here are the guide blocks. The guide blocks are held in right here on the, on the uh, upper guide bracket. And as you'll notice, one end is square, the other end is at a 45. And on this one, one end is on a 45, and the other one has a compound angle. Normally, they go together like that. However, if you move that compound angle and do that, put them in that orientation, that will actually turn the blade at a 45 degree angle to its normal orientation. So, I have done that with, with this one. As you can see, I don't have the table guide installed because there's no allotment for the uh, 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 rivets. Excuse me. Those little people got me all messed up. <laughs> Who you call them, little people? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you can make longer cuts on your uh, Shopsmith uh, bandsaw. Right now we're going to go back to Nick and he's going to expound some wonderful wisdom onto you and hopefully we'll get you out to your shops here in no time at all. You can start applying some of these lessons that hopefully we've, we've shown you. At Shopsmith's website you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects from preparing lumber to applying a finish Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.